Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. What they do to the interns, it's just not fair. <laughs> been uh, there, done that. That's yeah, how it is. Really? Well, but, maybe not that. No, but, but <laughs> I mean, you get blown over. Uh, but no, uh, no such problem here in the in the valleys. Uh, really gorgeous day. Oh, it was beautiful. You could see the sunset behind us too. It's just a gorgeous end to the day, no matter how you slice it. And we didn't have that wind today, so it felt a little bit warmer as well. Hey, check out the time lapse from a Burlington camera. This is well, this was your day, I should say. And as you could see, some periods of clouds, but ending in a spectacular fashion. Look at that sunset over Lake Champlain. Absolutely gorgeous. I really hope you got the chance to head outside today. Currently 42 degrees in the Queen City and mild across much of the region. I mean, we're still at 44 in Rutland, 47 in Lebanon, 44 also in Springfield and down to 41 right now in Bennington. And although we do have a brief period of colder weather, I decided to use this background because as we get into next week, it does warm up and feels a lot like spring, especially on Monday. We're calling for a high of 50 degrees and it won't be totally dry that day. We'll get to that in just a second, but something to look forward to as we go through a brief cold snap this weekend and it won't even be that cold by our standards for this time of year. So Storm Tracker is dry across our area. We've kind of got this ridge of high pressure that will be hanging around for the rest of the night, but I do want to take you on a wider look here and show you what is kind of happening. So we do have our clipper system for tomorrow. This is spinning in the Great Lakes area, but we also have this system in the southeast. Now, again, as a meteorologist, when you see this, you immediately think nor'easter, but that's not going to happen this time because this southern piece of energy is going to miss its opportunity to merge with our clipper system. So we're not talking about a major storm for tomorrow. I'm thinking just rain or snow showers, especially in the latter half of the day. And as for tonight, it's mostly dry. You'll see the clouds thicken up in the latter half of the night, but I think lows will be around the upper 20s, thinking 28 in the Burlington area. Tomorrow morning is also looking dry. I do think it'll be a little bit cloudier than Futurecast is showing. But watch what happens as we take you into the afternoon. That clipper system starts to slide through and we start to see our chance for some snow showers increase. And this is right during the evening commute. So although we're not expecting a ton of snow from this, I think some spots could be a little bit slick. Now it does clear out of here pretty fast and sets us up for what's going to be a gorgeous Saturday. But I just want to impress there's not a lot of snow associated with this. We might see one to three inches in parts of Clinton and Essex County in New York, but a dusting to an inch for most. Do want to highlight again, slippery travel possible during the evening commute. Now here's a look at your Saturday. We have more high pressure overhead and it is wall to wall sunshine at this time. And even as we take you into Sunday, we do have the chance for a few snow showers near the international border, but nothing significant. It's also a whole lot warmer too. By then temperatures are back in the 40s. So to kind of wrap everything up here, we do have mixed showers in the forecast for tomorrow. That gives way to a sunny Saturday, but also a little bit colder as well with highs limited to about 30 degrees. And then daylight savings time, that's when we flip the clocks ahead by one hour, is Sunday, 45 for a high, mostly cloudy skies. Then 50 on Monday, but some showers returning to the picture late, thinking more in the way of rain showers for the entire day on Tuesday, and then a brief break in the action for Wednesday. Right now, the end of next week work week, Stu, is looking pretty messy with unsettled weather expected on Thursday and Friday.